Before you get the wrong idea, that's not me, or anyone I know. All I know about this man is that in 1948, he became the first post-World War II draftee inducted into the U.S. Army. I found the silent film footage in the National Archives when I was conducting research for my own film, one about U.S. Army recruiters in the lead-up to the war in Iraq. In the spring of 2002, I got permission to be embedded with U.S. Army recruiters. I followed them throughout the North Carolina Piedmont as they looked for young men and women to volunteer to join the Army. Maybe it shouldn't be a surprise, but much of what I saw can also be seen in the silent footage from 50 years earlier. I saw sons kiss their mothers goodbye, though never with this number of takes, and the purposeful shuttling between venues and the paperwork, and as you'll see later on, the fingerprinting and the swearing-in ceremony, they are nearly identical to what happens nowadays. But there were also differences. I remember being in one recruit's living room, and no matter where I stood, there was paraphernalia from the movie Shrek in every shot. And do you know what was playing on TV in one of the shots at the military entrance processing station in Raleigh? The show Saved by the Bell. It's bad enough that this is the last show the recruits would watch as civilians, but now I have to edit around it. Thanks to the internet, I learned that there was an episode of Beavis and Butthead where they go into an army recruiting office. They try to sign up with the joke names of Major Woody and Private Parts. I wanted to use the footage, but you try and get MTV to write you back about a 10-year-old cartoon series. The U.S. Army has been in Iraq for more than a year now, and I'm still trying to figure out which footage I can use and which presents some potential legal liability. Watch the silent film footage from 1948 again. You won't see a single corporate logo or material that might have to be cleared. The uniforms and flags look more or less the same, but what goes on in the background has definitely changed.